Welcome back, everyone. We are now on Module 5, ready to work on the first SPSS sheet. So this is, again, another introduction into the week. So using my Google Drive folder, I am going to go to Module 5 and click Assignments and Grading, download that, and open that in Microsoft Word. Um, I have my learning objectives. Again, two discussion questions, one due by Wednesday, the other due by Friday, and your standard practice for participation, which you are all familiar with by now. You have two different assignments, again, graded this week. You have the 80-point assignment that's exercises 14 and 19, and then you have the 90-point assignment, which is our SPSS assignment, and those are exercises 29 and 35. So I am going to go back to my Google Drive folder and I can see the exercises 14 and 19 are saved right here for you to open. Type your answers in and save on your computer, then upload to um, Loud Cloud for grading. Here I'm going to open up Module 5, the SPSS assignment, so that I can see exercise 29 and guide you through that a little bit. The next video will be on exercise 35. So exercise 29 is on simple linear regression. Um, you have to again do the Shapiro-Wilk statistic and plot the histogram. You're going to state the null hypothesis um, and answer a question about it. And <clears throat> you're going to determine what A and B are for your linear regression equation, and then you're going to write the linear regression equation out. You are going to find r squared, that should be r squared, it didn't copy over correctly. Um, so you are going to find out what the r squared value is. Hmm. Um, and the variance, and you are also going to determine the correlation from the y values and the predicted y using the regression line. So let's get started with our program. The first thing, again, that you're going to want to do is open up your Citrix receiver and click on SPSS. That'll open up your SPSS program. I have already pulled in the data set that I needed. Remember, all of your data sets are saved here in this Google Drive folder under Data Sets. We are working on Module 5. SPSS 29 and you want example 2 so you are going to download that save it on your computer and then that is the file that you open in SPSS I'm going to delete off of here the bottom two rows so that I can show you how to do everything without giving away the answers to you but I am more than happy to help guide you at any time so this data set has age and months to graduation. So we need to, again, get the histogram, the Shapiro-Wilk statistic, and the linear regression information. So let's start with the histogram. So I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. This should be nothing new. I'm going to put both of those over here. Make sure this is on 95%. And then I want the histogram and the normality plots with tests. As always, this is going to give me my histogram and my Shapiro-Wilk statistic. It also gives me the means and other information as well. But the thing that I needed in this actual assignment is the Shapiro-Wilk statistic and histograms. Now remember that mine is not the same as yours because I did delete off the bottom two rows of information. So going back to my data set, I'm going to now gather the linear regression information. So this is a new one. We go up to Analyze, Regression, Linear. Age is my independent variable. That's the thing that I know what that value actually is, so that's independent. And number of months is the thing that we're actually determining or discovering what it is, number of months to graduation. So that is our dependent variable. I'm just going to check these areas here. 
Uh, make sure that we have estimates, model fit. Let's click continue. Plots. I don't need any of these checked. Options look good in here. And so I'm just going to click OK. Now this pulled in my regression information. So now I'm going to be able to use this to answer the questions that are asked in your um, exercise 29. So let's go back to those questions and see what they have to say. Um, so we already have our histogram and our Shapiro-Wilk statistic that we can copy and paste over. Um, I need to know what B is, what A is, and the new regression equation. So our new regression equation, this is of the form Y equals BX plus A. So once I know what A and B are, I can plug them in there. So for my output table, I'm going to go down to this coefficients table. This top one that says constant, that is actually our A value, and age is our B value. So I'm going to copy this table over there, right-click, copy, go to my problem set, and paste that in. So my B value is negative 0.051. And my A value is 14.974. So now if I want to rewrite this equation, it's actually Y equals negative 0 0.051 plus 14.974. So that is my um, regression equation right there for my data set. How would you characterize the magnitude of the obtained R-squared value? Well, let's go find R-squared in our table. R-squared right here is 0 0.010. So you are going to use that value in here and um, analyze that based on the information that you were given in the study. What was the correlation between the actual y value and the predicted y value? This is the linear r value, so that is this value right here, 0 0.098. So for me, that's 0 0.098. And again, this is asking um, for some information about these values as well. So you're not just including the value, you are answering some questions, um, interpreting that and different things that go along with it. All right. So the other thing that I would do if I were you is copy in these tables. So do not just leave me hanging without any um, information on how you gathered your results. You're going to copy the table and paste it in wherever you think that that suited you. So I would include that data table in here. So I'm going to paste that in um, so that I can see where you actually gathered your information from. All right, so that is um, some basics then on calculating simple linear regression. You're going to then um, go find my video for the next data set, which is for exercise 35, calculating Pearson chi-square, and watch that video and complete that. God bless, and as always, ask me any questions that you have in the individual forum.